and it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him. Welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. Um, today's one's not on the rear cabin. Um, I've done enough work for that for the moment just to see me by until we go cruising. I will get some more work done before we go cruising but there's something more pressing at the moment and it's not the rear cabin. It is in fact a toilet door because as you know you don't want to go cruising without um, a toilet and there's no point in having a toilet if you can't be um, secured away. You know, bit of privacy. Uh, bit of privacy on the old uh, privy. So let's get on and make a, a toilet door. I think we're going to make it out of 12 mil pro. Uh, <clears throat> can't talk. Make it out of 12 mil ply. Um, and I think I'm going to make it in a similar style to these doors again. Same way as I did with that. I'm going to have a bifold door so it folds in the middle uh, just to give it as a bit more room in the toilet so it's not uh, a massive room in, uh, sorry, a massive door in the middle of the room. So I'm going to make a, uh, like I say, I'm going to make the bifold door uh, and then see what it looks like. If I'm happy with it, then I'll keep it. If I'm not happy with it, then obviously it will disappear. But let's play it by ear and see how we get on. So, all right, stand by. Let's get on with it. Right, very noisy here with the cars, unfortunately, but you'll have to put up with that because I'm outside the boat. So I've cut some long battens. It's all 12 mil. These are the length of the door. So there'll be one somewhere like that, two in the middle, and then one on the outside edge as well. Um, I'm just going to do one side of the door for now. I don't think I'll need to do both sides. Um, and then what I'll do is when I put the middle ones on, I'll cut the cross pieces and I'll just fit them in a cross similar to that, you know, so they'll look right. And then the hinge will go in the middle, obviously. Cut the door in half, the hinge will go in the middle. Happy days. That's the plan anyway. I'm happy with that. Not looking too bad, is it? Still got to do this end there. That's looking all right. As always, you can see my sawing is amazing. Look, dead perfectly straight. But the gap goes like that all the way across. But yeah, that's getting there. I'm happy with that. Okay, time to do this end then. Thank you. 
So the front looks fine. The front looks great. Um, the only problem I am going to probably have is all the screw holes in the back. But I might try and fill them. Use a bit of car filler or something. Sink each screw a bit further and fill it. Or I might just use a bit of wood glue or just paint it so it looks like painted. But from the front, it looks really good. Nice little door. I might put a little bit in the middle here just to separate it, make a centre bit. I've got enough wood to do it, so I may do that. Um, and then I've got to cut it. But I'm not going to cut it today. I'm going to cut this tomorrow now. Um, I want to go and buy some hinges to match the ones that are in the boatman's cabin. And then they're all going to get put on. There'll be um, three hinges on this in the centre bit, and then three hinges on the end of the door there somewhere. Um, I might even sink the hinges into the back, I'm not sure yet. Because this this will be the kitchen side you see here. This will be the nice side you see from the kitchen. And then the other bit, uh, that will be the, the toilet door. Um, I mean, I could always cut some more ply and cover these up and then just glue it in and tack them maybe. I don't know. I've been and bought some hinges this morning. So they're the same as, let me just open this one up. So if you're thumbing and open up, one-handed, there you go. So they're pretty much the same as what's there. So it matches that. Um, gonna paint this white, I think, just to match the kitchen and the bathroom. Um, so these will probably go, um, I think they'll end up being inserted in the middle somehow. I'm not sure yet, I don't really know. I'd, I think I'd like them to be out in the open but they need to fold up don't they so I'm not sure how that will work yet. I need to think it out in my head uh, which way the door is going to fold uh, and what it will look like when it does fold. So um, what I'll probably do is then I'll screw these in place. There's four hinges per side um, because the door is actually quite heavy. Um, uh, thinking the other, the other day I could have made it a bit lighter using 6mm ply maybe but um, I think 12 is fine I think 12 is fine the only problem I've got is because the door is a little bit heavy um, and I can't use big screws to screw through for the hinges so I think some of the hinges are going to have to go on the butt here like that which I'm mm, not happy about that right that's the door in place. I'm quite happy with that. I made it wider. So you see it overhangs there, look, and then if you come the other side, it overhangs there as well. I made it wider on purpose, knowing that I'd struggle. Um, I can't really show you. So when the hinge is on the whiteboard, I wouldn't be able to screw in that way into the hinge. Um, because this is quite thin and the screws are just split the wood. As soon as you put it in, it just split the wood and you wouldn't be able to carry much weight. So I'm gonna to have to screw into the face of the board. The only problem then is, let me come away a bit and show you. Um, the trouble is holding the camera and trying to film at the same time. So when I make that fit flush there, look, the door is over overhanging a little bit. But I can come around that because I can fit a bit of trim on the edge of the door frame, just tack it in with a nail and then fit that flush to the door and that will hide that gap and that will be fine. Um, and then when the door opens, this hinge will sit flush and I can screw through. So I'm going to fit four hinges on this door. Um, just for the fact is, because I, I can only use short screws, the more screws I have on the better because this, like I said, this door is quite heavy. Uh, so it's going to be set slightly off the floor. Look, I've got a bit of insulation there. I think that's three centimetre insulation. And there's probably roughly about three centimetres above the door as well, gap. And then what I'll do is I'll measure up and make sure that the gap at the top, that the, the overhang there and the overhang there will probably be exactly the same or as near enough anyway. So, right. Yeah. And then the hinges for the centre, when I cut the centre, they'll be on the other side so that the door bifolds, folds as it opens, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't know. Let's, um, let's screw some things in, work out some measurements of where I want the hinges, equal lengths up and down the door, 
and then I will um, come back to you when they're screwed in and the doors actually probably hung a little bit. Right. Right, so I've worked out I want my hinges uh, 23 centimetres is roughly spread across the four. That's half of you. 23 centimetres is half of the quarter, if that makes sense. So I've half the door and then half the half of the door which makes your quarters then that's your quarter mark so you've got your your half mark there your quarter mark just there look and then these marks then are quarters and then what I've done is I've squared it down and marked on the centre there so that's I'm going to put my centre hinges in first screw them in get them all countersunk and screwed in um, and then I'll sort out doing the hinges on the big on the frame later I probably wouldn't use it. He wants nice it. stuff. He don't want crappy stuff. <laughs> no, no. Whether it's hidden or not, the best, the best of English oak, can it, Steve? Well, not quite, but not far off. <laughs> it was the price of best of English oak. I oh, fucking no. know that. Right. So I've marked up where my hinges are going to go. Um, got my marks here. So this is the middle of the hinge. Same there. Same one further down there. So let's uh, let's stick the hinges on here. But like I said earlier, when I put these hinges on, they're going to go something like this. In fact, they're going to go like that this way around, so that they overhang slightly. Um, I could have bought smaller hinges, I suppose, but this is how I'm going to do it, and it's a good way of putting an edge trip on, edge trim on the door, so you won't see around the door, and it will. I don't think you'll even notice it much really. You might notice it from the bathroom, from the kitchen side, but I don't think you'll notice on this side. So I'm going to screw these in now, get them sorted, and then off we go, hang the door. Well, do the first hang of the door. I'm sure there'll be plenty more to go. Um, with this one here, I'm going to have to screw down through the grain, which isn't great. So I'm going to use long, thin screws like that. The longer the better, and then they'll go right the way down. Uh, in fact, I need to make sure they don't go all the way down. So let's put one on a hinge. Lay the hinge on the door. Yeah, so that'll be fine. So that screw won't penetrate out the bottom. So we should be okay with that. Drill a hole in, sink it down, that'll be fine. Right, so let's do that then. Right, I'm back. Not that you know I've been anywhere, but I'm back. I found out. I've got two of one type and two of another type I didn't realise. I must have mixed them up in the box when I bought them. So now I've got all the same. And the good thing is about these ones, they're slightly narrower. So the door won't stick out so far. It'll only stick out a couple of mil, which is not much. So, um, yeah, like I said, they're slightly narrower hinges. They're not as wide. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, unless I get two together, you won't see. So let me, hang on, let me show you. Them ones. They are slightly narrower look. So anyway, I've got four the same now. So let's get on with putting them on. Stick you on the stand. Let's get back to putting these hinges back on, shall we? Okay, stand by. Just uh, get back to you in a minute because this isn't working how I want it to. 
Right, put one screw in each. I'm still sat on the board, but the door should kind of swing now, although it's not cut in half. Put a wiggle in it. Right, let's try and get this board out. Shut the door and try and slide this board out. Let me just put you down a second. Right, it's amazing how tight it is in here or how enclosed it feels with that door on. Oh, you know what, I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, there is a gap there, but I'm gonna, I need to put a bit of trim on the end of this um, here anyway. So I can put the trim on, nail it in, and you won't even know. Put a bit of trim on that side with a bit of a, a couple of magnets in the top there to hold it. I think magnets in the top corner will hold it closed. Doesn't have to be much. So I think the next job is now, um, take the door off, cut it in half. I think I'm going to cut it with the hinges still in place. Um, yeah. Right. I don't think that's too bad. I think it needs um, a cross piece here somewhere, maybe halfway up or something like that. It needs something to break up the door, but even just like that, that looks fine, doesn't it? That looks okay like that. I'm quite happy with that. Fantastic. Right, stand by, take you outside, see if it's see if it's raining. If it's not raining, we go outside, we'll cut the door in half. <coughs> right, so we're back at the boat and it's Thursday. I didn't come yesterday. Um, I had a day off. So first job of the day is we're gonna take the door off. Um, I need to cut out little notches at the top and the bottom for the magnets to hold the door open and possibly even hold the door closed at some point. Uh, and we're gonna route around the edges, so um, Let's set you up on the tripod. Uh, the weather's looking a bit crappy outside, but I'm going to strip all the hardware off the door first. Uh, see what the weather's like. If the weather's fine, we'll do it outside. If the weather's bad, then we're doing it in here. So, right, stand by. Right, well as you saw we managed to get the routing done outside but the weather's changed and it looks like it's going to rain so painting will be done inside. Um, I'm not going to use the um, tallow colour or the emulsion that I used on the back of the boat in the cabin here. I'm going to use a proper primer, a wood primer and then I'm going to gloss these doors because in the kitchen area the paint's all gloss uh, and obviously you want doors that you can wipe down clean afterwards if you splash anything on them like, I don't know, soup or whatever so the doors are going to be gloss so what i'm going to do is i'm going to undercoat them first and then give them a gloss coat um, i'll undercoat them here in the back of the boat i'll just lay them down on the bench here and just paint them but then when i do the gloss coat i'm going to hang the doors and gloss it hung uh, yeah uh, actually i may not i don't know yet i've not decided i think the easiest way is probably to hang them but then once i've hung them they've got the hinges on and i can't paint around the hinges well i can but it's just a pain so it's easier to paint without the hinges isn't it Well, it's the next day again. Um, that's the trouble with painting. You can't really do a great deal. Once the paint's wet, you can't really um, do any work around because everything's going to be covered in dust if you move around, especially with the floor being like this. Look. So, yeah, that's that's the painting done. As I say, did I say it was Friday? Oh, it's Friday anyway. 
So I put the hinges back on now the paint's dry or the centre hinges. I'm just going to go and hang it. Oh, excuse me a minute. Burpees. Um, I'm just going to go and hang the door in there. I'm not going to gloss it yet because it's very cloudy again out today. And I've got other jobs I want to do. And if I paint again now, it's going to be another couple of days. It'd be Monday before I put the doors up and all that sort of stuff. And also I've still got the back's not painted yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the doors and then when I'm out or if I get a chance before I go out or when I'm out cruising, I will then um, paint the doors while I'm out because it won't take me 10 minutes to take the doors off, get me stands up outside in the sun, paint them. Like I said, if I can do it before I go away, that's what I'll do. But for now, I'm just going to put them up as they are and paint them when we get some good weather and I've got a few free days, I can go and put the, put the boards out and door out and paint it outside. So. Right, door up and then we'll fix the magnets and see how we get on with the magnets because I think I might have to do a bit of jiggery pokery with the um, edges here so the door shuts nice and tight. I'll show you in a minute. Let me hang the door and I'll show you in a second. Right, well the door's up. You've seen the door. Let's just, uh, I've got to get some knobs and stuff to fix it in place. But you've seen the door now. Right, so you've seen the door. It's painted and it's up. Um, put some magnets up there. Look, well, that's the striker plate for it. I'm not too happy with it because it won't stick. It's just a little bit. The spring on the door is just a little bit too much to let it stick. It touches, but it's just not strong enough to hold it. So I think I'll have to think of something else. I need to put a striker plate up there so the door, when it shuts, holds shut. But apart from that, I'm quite happy with how it looks. Not turning around because the rest of the boat's a shit tip. And that's that side done anyway. The back of the door isn't painted yet still. Um, I've got plans for the back of the door, which you'll see at some point in the future. But that's the door. And I've got some little plugs to go in the screw holes. I mean, ideally, if I'd have had a nail gun or a brad gun, I'd have, brad the, I'd have, I'd have just shot a lot of brads into it, or pin nails or whatever you want to call them and you wouldn't have seen any of these, the brads that have just disappeared into the wood. Uh, but I don't have one. And I do have some little tiny nails, but hammering all them in would have just been an absolute pain because if you just hammer them in with a hammer, they just bend. They're just cheap tap. So, right, let me screw up a striker into here somewhere so the door shuts, so stand by. Little bit of magnet just holds the door shut. Most of the time the door will be open, except when someone's in the toilet. Yes, door shut. That's okay. Like I said, it's just that when it's open, it's just... I need to do something better up here. I don't know what yet. I haven't made my mind up. I will do something, but it's just... The spring on the door is just holding it that off a little bit. So, never mind, eh? Right, I've cheated slightly. So let me show you what I've done. That clicks in better now. I'm quite happy with that. That's a quite a firm click. It'll come undone with a bump, but that's a firm click. I'm happy with that. So what I've done, all the hinges I've slacked off slightly. So like I said earlier, the hinges, if they're not 100% millimeter perfect, you'll get a bit of twist in the door. So I've loosened up the screws there so the hinges are allowed to move slightly, which is not great in the long run because it means that they'll wear and you'll see marks but we'll come across that later but up here also I've countersunk the screw so it sits deeper and I've packed it out I've got three striker plates there now rather than just one or two I've got three in there and that allows it to sit <clears throat> a bit proud so yeah I'm okay with that that's all right I'm okay with that yeah there you go it's not too bad is it Awesome. Well, what do you think? It didn't look too bad in the end, did it? Um, there's a few things I would probably change. Like I said, I'd rather have used brad nails on the back than screws, but the only brads I've got are, are these in a little box. Um, I can get one out and show you. So anyway, little tiny things look, you know? And the trouble is, for one there too long, if I'd have hammered that into the door, it'd have gone through. 
Um, you get them any shorter and when you hammer them in by hand, they just bend, they're, they're useless. That's why the Brad nail, the, the nail guns are fantastic because you, poof, and they're through and it's in. So I think I'll have to invest in a nail gun. I can always make another door in the future. That was fairly cheap to make, it's not an issue. Um, but yeah, for now it gets a door on the toilet, which is the important thing, um, gives you a bit of privacy. And like I said, it doesn't look too bad. It's okay, it's, you know, things don't have to be, you know, mint perfect it's this is not a show house it's not a show home it's not a show boat it's just a um a boat i'm gonna slum on for six months while i'm i'm having my cruise around wherever so as always if there's anything you'd like to say or any comments you'd like to make on the door then as always down below um i do love your comments so i always try and answer back um if there's anything you'd have done different then let me know if there's anything you think i've done wrong let me know again um, and all, as always if you've enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up uh, share it around your friends and if you're not subscribed then I really would appreciate it by uh, by subscribing uh, YouTube really take note of the extra subscriptions and uh, and share me around other people just like you who may enjoy the videos so if you're not subscribed then even if you're never, never gonna watch my videos again just click the subscribe button doesn't cost you a thing uh, and that way it'll promote me a little bit more around YouTube so right that just leaves me to say goodbye I'll uh, see you on the next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've got a couple of jobs. There's one in the back of the boat just to your side there, uh, which is the boot store under the step. Um, that's another job I want to do is a step. I want to make my own step uh, or steps. So um, the boot store, the steps and the drawers or the little shelving drawer unit at the side there by the back door, that's next on the list. And also in the bed box, at the top of the bed box, if you remember from the last videos, I still haven't done the slats in the top of the bed box yet. The, the ones you sleep on are in, but the ones above the bed box in the storage area, they're not in yet. So I'd like to get that done. So that, a lot of jobs for the next week's video. I think there's probably more than one video's worth there. But anyway, like I said, um, that's for the future videos. So, right. Sorry for waffling on. I will see you on the next video. So, all right. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. All right, see you, bye. And it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him.